Bala Mohammed, after his win over Stephen Thompson, has called out Chimaev. Um, in addition to that, um, get your thoughts on that. But um, in Dana White's interview, this long interview he did with Brett Okamoto. Um, Boy, you also- listen to Dana White a lot, don't you? <laughs> it was a long interview and it was a good one. It was like a year in review, so it was a really good interview. Um, and he also said that he did say that Neil Magny is one of the guys who um, is willing to fight Chimaev as well. So where everybody's saying... Nobody wants to fight Chimaev. There's two two names in the table, and Bilal, you know, after that big win, is one of them. Huh. There's also a third name on the table that said he would fight him. Vicente Kobe Luque. Covington. I thought Kobe Covington said the same thing. Eh, I'm not sure. The, I never heard Covington say he would, you know, that's the guy I want to fight. Oh. So, he just said if he comes down here, we have to send him back up there. Yeah. So I get it. I understand that. <clears throat> Vicente Luque, I didn't hear him call him out. He just, you're saying he called him out too? No, he said, he goes, he said, send me the contract. I'll sign it right now. Well, Vicente Luque is nasty, man. Vicente Luque is <laughs> he's good. good. But he's good. So is Chemayev. Yeah. Chemayev's, look, everyone's going to sit there. I've watched him fight before he was in the UFC. He's good. Mm-hmm. You know, this is, it, it, Josh, this is the exact scenario that we have talked about so many times that everyone goes, Oh, you're always trying to put the UFC down. There's nothing about putting the UFC down when I build or say that another fighter in another organization is really good. That's not putting the UFC down. This this guy was fighting in Brave. He was fucking knocking the shit out of people. I was like, holy Christ, man. This guy's good, and he could wrestle, and he could stand, and I was like, this guy's going to be something. And then all of a sudden, I saw he was signed with the UFC, and I said, oh, they got a good one. And... He's undefeated there, and this is the whole point. There's guys that are really good fighters in other organizations that are out there. And Shemaev is just, now that he's stepped over to the UFC, he's still doing the same thing. Yeah, I think that, I mean, as long as he just keeps performing the way he's performing, it doesn't matter which one of these guys. I mean, if you're going to look at how he's going to work his way up the rankings, you got Bilal, then you've got, you got Bilal and you got Vicente and then you've got Colby that are in that mix. So if you just do it that way, you go Bilal first because Bilal just yep. coming off the win. He's ready to fight and take really any damage in that Steven Thompson fight. Maybe you have him fight, you know, sometime in February. Get that fight signed and then see what happens between, that, you know, those two guys. And then the winner of that will potentially move up and try and fight someone like, like uh, Vicente Luque. You know, Colby Covington is the guy who's kind of in the mix there only because He's already fought the champion twice and lost to him both times. So there's not really much room he can go up any further. So he's going to have to start fighting those guys that are ranked number six, number five, number three, start knocking them out of there. Well, he's going to have to knock those guys out to prove that they shouldn't be, you know, put above him so he gets another shot. Yeah, that's going to be a while before he gets a shot. Not an easy (laughs) thing, but. Yeah. yeah. I mean, actually, the the Bilal fight kind of interests me because Bilal showed against Stephen Thompson that. That his wrestling, his aggressiveness, his shape, all of those things is there. Now, is Chemaev the same type of cardio and conditioning? Because he gets everyone out of there so fast. Does he have the endurance to go hard for a full three or a full five if they're the main event? First off, I don't think he's gone three in his career. <clears throat> yeah, I've watched him go into the second round. Okay. Uh, he went, in, in fact, his first fight in the UFC went into the second round. I know he went into the second round uh, before he was in the UFC. But not far. Look at yeah. he's good. He gets rid of people, man. What are you gonna say? Yep. Yeah. He hasn't. I don't think he's ever. Dave, you'd have to check. Check to see if Chimaev right ever even entered the third round. I don't think he has. Just waiting for this to load. Uh, he has not. He's Boom. gone to the end of the second. Oh, sorry. No, that was. He's gone a minute and fifteen seconds into the second. Yeah. Hmm. That's because he's good. <laughs> he. He's just good, man. The guy's got it. It's, look, he can be beat. Anybody can be beat. Yeah. But you, know, you touch him on the chin, he's human, he will go down. But it's not an easy thing to do, and he's getting into you quickly. His wrestling, is, his transitions are fantastic. He chains things together, and then he's got power in his hands. He can smack, and he's got a beautiful uppercut he throws. He's got a, an uppercut hook combo that's just fantastic. It's money for him. Yeah. We'll see. As he He's as good. as he goes up in the levels, the third round will will show itself. Somewhere yeah, I, think along he's got the way. A, I think he's got a decent chance at winning the title at seventy. I think oh, yeah. eighty five. Eighty five, I think he gets stuck in that four to 
one range. I don't think he wins the title at 85. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, he is tall, long, and lanky, but, I mean, Izzy's <laughs> a different type of tall, long, and lanky, you know? And then Robert Whitaker is good all the way around. I think Paul Acosta is just one of those guys you just don't know where to take with him because he's so he's so explosive. You don't know what, what type of fight he's going to fight. Vittori, he's just a dog. He could potentially mm-hmm. try to grind on him for the full five rounds because it will be a main event if they were to fight. And there's a lot of good fights from him at 85, but I think at 70 he needs to make that title run. Yeah. He's got a good chance. <clears throat> he's going to have a hard time with guys like uh, Covington and guys like Usman, obviously. But I think even Gilbert Burns, I think he might have a hard time with. Well, you know, if that fight hits the ground with Gilbert, I mean, he could be in well, a lot of trouble. Look, anybody that hits the ground with Gilbert, there's the possibility of a submission occurring and not going your way. But yeah, yeah it, there's a reason why you fight the fight. We'll find out. Yep. True. All right, everyone, go to mybookie.ag. Use the promo code Wayne in, and you can make bets on every sport there is: basketball, tennis, soccer, golf, and even during the election time, they had bets on that. They've got different types of bets for all different sports and including one of our favorite sports that we love to talk about, MMA and also boxing. So make sure you go to mybookie.ag, use the promo code WAYNEIN.